All right, so we looked at the sign test, and the sign test doesn't take much information out of all of this. It just looks at the sign, and if we're testing that the median is equal to zero, uh, you know, then the sign is just the binomial, and so it's non-parametric and everything. Now, along comes uh, Will Coxon. I'll show you his picture in a minute, but uh, he says, why do you just look at the sign? See, if we look at this, um, let's go back to this a little bit. If you just look at the sign, so that's minus 126, that counts the same as minus 17. But it's not. It, it, it should count a little bit more because it's even bigger. You know, the plus signs, look at this. An 8 counts as much as a 361. So we're losing information uh, by just looking at the sign. Okay. Uh, what Will Coxon did is he looked at the ranks. Just to remind you about ranks, when you look at the ranks, so here, here are uh, suicides, uh, the methods of, uh, uh, of suicide in 2010, and here's the males. So the males, uh, the most popular is firearms, um, and then the next most popular is uh, what they used to call strangulation, suffocation, I get, you know, sort of hang yourself, I guess. Um, and whereas with women, it's, um, so with men it's that, with women it's, it's, it's they prefer poison. Poison is the most um, popular way of committing suicide. Um, firearms is, is only second, and suffocation is third. So um, we can look at the, just look at the ranks, and we can see that there's a qualitative uh, difference. Okay. We don't get the information by just looking at the ranks. We don't get the information that's available there. But if that's normally distributed, you know, then we can do the T. But if it's not normally, we don't have the T. So what can we do? All right. So here's one way to go about it, and that's to look at the ranks. So here he is. I, I had to show you this picture of Wilcoxon, um, because just to show you that statisticians are spiffy guys. Uh, but anyway, so Wilcoxon came up with, just like the t-test, he came up with the Wilcoxon tests. Now, we saw that Spearman looked at the uh, Pearson and replaced the observation with ranks. Wilcoxon did a very, very similar thing with the t-test. And so we've got the one sample, and then we've got the two sample t-tests. He did his magic on the one sample uh, Wilcoxon and then the two sample Wilcoxon. Okay, so now, the one sample, let's do the one sample first. What he uh, did is this. So now, here's another situation where we've got pairs, all right? So here are the placebo readings, and here are the drug readings. So the, the green is the placebo readings, so that's these, and there's the drug readings, and we look at the difference. So now, we could do our sign test on these differences. But Wilcoxon said, no, here's what we'll do. We'll rank the differences. We'll rank the differences, okay? So here it is, we just rank them, ignoring the sign, ignore the sign. So 11 is smaller than 15, even though it's minus 15. Let me make that clear to you. Okay, so the, this is the negative one, here's another negative one, there's another negative one, and, uh, but because of their size, they ranked, so this one is ranked seven, and then this one is ranked two. So operationally, you ignore the sign of the difference, just rank them, all right? Then reverse your process. So now, just look at the signed rank. So look at all the ranks associated with negative numbers, and there they are, there's two of the, uh, three of them, two, seven, and 10, and then look at the ranks associated with positive numbers, positive differences, and there you go. And so now he says, all right, take the sum of both of them. Take the sum of the positive ranks, take the sum of the negative ranks. Arguing that if indeed uh, you have this uh, just as likely to be above and below and, and a little bit of symmetry maybe, um, then you should get roughly the same sized sums down here. So now we're not only taking the sign of the difference into account, but also the size via the ranks, okay? And here is the statistic that you would use, and it's approximately standard normal. I'm not gonna belabor this for you, but uh, you, can, you can read up all about it. And uh, Stata 
will uh, do all of this for you. In this instance, the p-value is 0.036, and so we would reject uh, the null hypothesis here. And so there's the sign rank, placebo equals drug, and so we reject that hypothesis. The p-value is um, 0.0355. So that's the Wilcoxon signed rank test, which is the same as um, we could do it on one sample. The one I showed you here was on two, uh, on the two sample, correlated or dependent, dependent situations, sorry, um, we just saw. Okay?